how to make scatter rocks in just five minutes. Yep, that's right. Each one of these rocks took five minutes to make, five minutes of effort. There's some drying time and things going on in between, but in terms of actual effort, it's just five minutes. And the first thing you need to do is you need to get some expanding foam. There's a link to buy, you know, some in the description. Uh, and you just spray it in a little bundle, you know, not really thinking too much about this, just spraying some expanding foam down and then doing this a bunch of times so you have rocks of different shapes and sizes um, and then you leave them to dry. Then I recommend you put them on something smooth so you can cut them off easily. Um, and then once you've done that, you can carve them. Now this kind of outer area I'm pointing to there, that is, it doesn't take paint very well. So you wanna make sure you get all of that off of your rocks when you're carving them. And in terms of the shape, well, I don't try and reinvent the wheel with this. You know, whatever shape it is, I tend to go for roughly that. So that one I just did there, it looked like a little rock. So I didn't try to make it anything else but a little rock. This one looked like a slightly bigger rock. So I made it a slightly bigger rock. And uh, I cut some little Vs into it here, which I think just give it a bit more kind of uh, definition, a bit more life. This one I treated a bit differently. One of these bigger ones, it gives you more options. So this is more like a slope leading up to a flat bit. So kind of cliff edge, kind of vertical sides, and then cutting a slope down. And with cutting it, it's just a case of getting a craft knife. So just being a sharp knife, sharp knife, being careful with it, and just, just cutting through it. it. It's really, really not difficult in, in the slightest. I mean, each one of these rocks took somewhere between 45 seconds and a minute and a half to do all of the cutting. I, I promise you on that. These are really, really simple and really quick to make. Now this one was a little bit different. I decided to do a cliff edge kind of on one side and then the other side was more like a, a grassy mound. So that's that's all that was. And then these are the seven rocks that uh, I, I did for this video. Next up, you paint them. Now what are you painting them with? I paint them with a combination of um, paint, sand and PVA. I mean, I don't know what the exact mix is, but the sand provides texture and the PVA makes sure that the sand sticks on. Because what's gonna happen after you've painted these is that you are going to dry brush them. And when you dry brush them, you're gonna be bringing out more of the detail and that's gonna happen um, if there is sand attached. So with these, I'm the edges of them that are kind of uh, gonna be rocky or cliff faced, uh, I'm painting them with this kind of gray mix. And then on top, any bits that's gonna have grassy bits on, I'm painting with just normal brown paint, nothing more complicated than that. So dark gray on the cliff bits and brown on the grassy bits. It's, uh, it's It really couldn't be more simple than that. This final one just here, and uh, yeah, that's gonna be covered in grass later on. Um, and you're gonna see in a moment what the, uh, sorry, this, this final one here, I decided to carve this little kind of L into the top as if there's some brickwork there or something. I'm not sure how well it turns out, but I just painted that white. And this is what they look like once they've been painted. These are actually good enough for the game board. If you're happy with how they look like that, then carry on. They clearly look like rocks. People know what they are, so you can carry on. But if you want them to look a bit more realistic, then you can do the dry brushing. So get some white on a, on a brush. I use a makeup brush, get the excess off, and then you're um, going at kind of perpendicular to all of the edges so it picks up the sandy bits, it picks up the edges, and you'll see in a moment when I hold this back up to the camera that it's just got that little bit more life, that bit more definition, which makes them feel more real. Um, so um, I'm doing this dry brushing with the white on all of the gray edges and um, the brown edges are being left, and all that's left to do is then to flock it. And so all I do with this is I think about where some grass might be and I put a bit of PVA. So on all of the rocks, I just put a little bit of um, PVA on the top and just put, just shook some, uh, some flock on top of it. This one is the grassy mound I was speaking about, covered in PVA as you can see, and I'm just scattering uh, flock all over, getting good coverage and just leaving that to set for a while. Um, and then the final one I'm going to show you just here, this is the one where I've got two different types of flock going on. So just covering the whole thing in PVA. The top part is going to be, um, as I said, a kind of like a grassy area. So just thinking about what that's going to be like. So shaking grass bits at the top. And then I keep saying this wrong. I keep calling the, the lower part. I keep calling that trail mix. But I think that's what you feed birds. It's more of just like a gravelly path type thing. And I think it just looks... This looks really, really good, especially in this next part, because this is what you end up with. Each one of these rocks was five minutes effort, and I think they look fantastic. If you've enjoyed this, then please hit the like button. If you've got any comments, then please comment. And if you've really enjoyed it, then please consider subscribing.